Just wanted to announce I finally got a Snapchat. I don't know what I'm doing, but it's V Dreamcatcher, just like I am on every other platform. So add me on there. Hey guys, it's V. Today I have a new product for you guys to do just a little mini lasting impression review type thing on. I saw this product was new at Sephora and I picked it up quite a few weeks ago and I'm just now getting around to actually filming a video on it for some reason. But this is the Milk Makeup Natural Dry Shampoo. It seems to always be out of stock on Sephora.com. This is $14 and you get one ounce. That's right. $14 for one ounce. Pretty expensive if you ask me. This is definitely not as big as I thought it was gonna be when I ordered this online. It came in this cute little packaging right here and it was inside of there and I was like, does it? Because I didn't really think about it being only one ounce, but anyways, I thought that I would show you guys kind of how this applied and just generally my thoughts on it. So I'll go ahead and insert a clip here of me applying it this morning. I showed you guys my hair before. It's a third day hair. I haven't washed it since Sunday night and it is Wednesday today. So yeah, it was looking a little bit greasy. First of all, I had a little bit of trouble opening the packaging. It was not one of those rippable seals that was like easy to open. I ripped it on both sides and ended up having to like squeeze it open, but I did end up getting it open. So I decided to just spray this all over my hair. The only directions on it say to shake well before use and evenly spray a small amount directly to hair, leave in for two minutes and shake or brush out. So I did exactly that and I'll maybe I'll speed some of this up because I sprayed it for quite a little bit of time. I feel like I used half the freaking spray just getting this in my hair and if you say that I used too much I get it. I use a little bit more than the average bear but I have a lot of hair and it gets real greasy so I tend to go ham on the dry shampoo because I know that throughout the day it is gonna fade out and I would rather have more than not enough. So as you can see my hair afterwards it looked perfectly fine and that was at right about 8 a.m. this morning so I am back here to check in with you guys throughout the day and let you know what I kind of think of it. So it is 6.04 so just about 10 hours later we are are checking in and I will tell you guys what I think. First of all, I think it smells pretty basic. It, I don't think they tried to like fragrance it in any way. It just smells kind of like hairspray or just smells like dry shampoo. Like there's no specific scent. It's not a bad scent. It definitely smells good. I don't mind it, especially since, you know, I'm, I'm into hair stuff and I love the way hair products smell. It just smells like a salon hair product to me. So there's nothing wrong with the smell there, but I think for the price, this is not worth it at all, honestly. I feel like I've already used at least half of this just spraying it on my hair today. $14 for that? No thank you. I'm not really a big fan of aerosol dry shampoos, but yet I still keep trying them because I just want to like one of them because it's so much easier than the powder dry shampoos, which I feel work a lot better for me. But I honestly, like, it's not that I don't like this product. I definitely like this product. I just feel like it is completely overpriced for what it is. I just feel like you do not need this. If you're going to get a dry shampoo and you want to spend the money, go for the Redken dry shampoo. It's in like a pink container and it's like their pillow proof. It's pretty expensive, but you get way more in the package than you get in this package. So personally, do I think it worked? Yes. I Do I think it controlled my oils all day? Um, yeah. I would say this area right here is um, starting to get some oil back and also right here, but I am a person where all day I am doing this. So it's just that that's the oiliest part of my hair, so I don't really expect any dry shampoo to keep it perfectly oil-free throughout the whole day, but I think that it worked. There's nothing wrong with this dry shampoo other than the price. You get this really fun package with it that says milk, and it's got a whole bunch of like stickers. Like, what are these? You get a sticker that says fresh. You get a sticker that says preach. You get a sticker that says sunshine. And then you get a little card that says 
talking about the milk brand milk does makeup so far i feel like this brand has really been blowing up lately and maybe some like big youtuber talked about this dry shampoo and that's why it's always sold out all the time or i don't know what's going on with that but honestly i feel like for the price you can definitely find better stuff i don't really feel like this worked any better than the batiste dry shampoos which i have tried i'm not a fan of them per se this is pretty much the same i'll say this doesn't leave as much of a thick feeling as the batiste does the batiste Batiste tends to make my hair feel very powdery and this one doesn't make my hair feel that way like I don't feel powdery at all actually like there's no there I didn't really feel like there was a lot of white residue I haven't looked back through the footage and usually it looks a lot worse on camera than it does in real life but I didn't really feel like there was a whole lot of residue if you're just feeling spendy go ahead and spend the money but for me I'm not gonna be repurchasing this one so if my review is helpful for you guys be sure to show some love to the like button down there and if you subscribe you can be a member of my muse family and every single one of you guys counts so 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 much thank you guys so much for watching and I will see y'all in my next video bye guys